Today, I'm going to show you how to take some sales data from customers in a regular sales database and aggregate that data forward so that your manager or your boss can find percentage of profit and percentage that's discount the sales that people are giving. In this database, I've created four different queries. The first query, I'm going to calculate what the cost is for each of my sales. In other words, in order to generate a profit percent, I, gotta, I have to know how much cost was uh, associated with each of those items. So what I've done is I've pulled the company from the customer's database uh, table, I've pulled the cost from the products table, and I've pulled the quantity from the line item quantities ordered for that particular product. I've created a formula here, cost equals the sum of cost times quantity. So basically it's just summing here, summing here, here, and grouping by the company. And when I run this, I get a list of the companies that have bought and the sum of the cost extended across here. The, the total cost times four equals that. Now, what I wanted to make sure is that if I do this math here, like for the fun zone, if I do that math straight across, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out at all. So I turn off the, the totals query piece of it, and I do an extended look at all the detail records. And what I wanted to make sure here was that it did the math across first, and then it did the math down to get this sum. And it turns out that, that the instead of getting this number over here, which would be the total of 241 times 12 equals that 2901, um, it did the math before summing it, which gives me the 289, which is the sum of this figure here, okay? So that gave me the validation that I could do a sum. It would calculate across before it summed it downward. Now I'm going to open for design view query two. Now query two, I want to get the retail price or the suggested retail price that we ask our salespeople to sell the product at, at the amount of quantity that the customer bought at. So quantity is coming out of sales line items. And then I have this expression here that's going to sum the multiplication of table line items times retail price times quantity. And that's in an expression here, and it's grouped by company again. So when I run this, I get a total then of extended retail price. Okay, so now I've got my cost. I've got my suggested retail price totaled up. Now my next query here, I'll open in design view and bring it across. The extended sales price was already multiplied times the quantity. It comes out of the sales line items table here. So this one is going to be my extended sales price. And all I did, all I needed to do on this one was to sum it. And so when I go here and I do the sum, there's my totals there. Well, I have the three components that I need now. I've got the price the customer paid, the suggested retail price, and I have the cost. So now I can calculate customer profit percent based on the cost versus the retail sales price or extended sales price. And then I can calculate the discounted price. You know, that's the suggested retail price versus the extended sales price. And so we'll open up query four here for design view and we'll show you how that is done. So I just have the three queries here. And because I could very quickly and easily, I could link company to company to company here so that I have them in sync there. They all have the same number of records in them because it's coming from the same number of retail sales for each company. So all of them have the same exact number of records. And so what I've done here is I've put the extended cost here from query one, the extended retail price from query two, and the extended sale price from query three. To figure profit, I'm gonna put my cursor here and bring it up in the builder because it's easier to see in the builder here. My profit percent is the extended sales price minus the extended cost divided by the extended sales price to figure out what percentage of that money is in is profit, okay? 
and then I can come down here to discount percent so I can catch those scrupulous salespeople that are trying to get really lots of sales and pushing my profits down. I'm going to go with the extended retail price minus the extended sales price. So my retail price minus the how much they actually sold it for and to get an extended sales and then divide it by extended sales price to get a discount percent. And so let's see how this one works and see what's happening here. So I'm going to run this and I have, okay, here we've got our profits here and we see some, you know, rather low profits here. Six percent, only six percent. Let's get this cursor out of here. Only six percent profit here. Why is that so low? Well, because my salespeople discounted it by 55 percent. Here I've got a, a profit of only 7.6 percent because they've discounted the, the sales price by 53 percent. Uh, I think I need to talk to a couple salespeople here, uh, but then again. I've got uh, Coventry Collectibles that likes to pay full price for everything. So you see the extended retail price and the extended sales price is the same as it should be. And we get our usual 40% profit. And a few of these have 40% profit. And you see there was no discounts there. But here we go top end toys and my profit margin is clear down at 4.9%. And whoa, my salespeople are giving a whopping 58% discount on each line item. So this is a very useful report. Now you can take this query, wrap it into a, a report, pretty it up and so forth and deliver it to your customer. And it should work very well for them. If you enjoyed what I had to say here, please hit the subscribe button and hope to see you again. Thanks.